The Lankavatara Sutra is devoted to the elucidation of the inner truth to be realized within oneself. But to neglect the mentioning of the pranidhana or vows would be a grievous fault on the part of the writer. The whole significance of the idea of the pranidhana is in short this, quote, The Bodhisattva also realizes the inner truth as attained by the Shravakas, but because of his compassionate regard for all sentient beings and of his original vows which are now astir in him, he has no heart for the bliss of cessation and for the bliss of self-absorption. The Lankavatara alludes occasionally to the ten vows of a bodhisattva which he has made in the beginning of his career. They are principally concerned with the bodhisattva and not with the Tathagata, but they may be taken at least in their principle as concerned with the life of the Tathagata as well. Amitabha's forty-eight vows mentioned in one of the Chinese versions of the Sukhavati Vyuha Sutra, Akshobhaya's vows in the Sutra of the Land of Akshobhaya, Kshitigarbha's ten vows in the Sutra of the Vows of Kshitigarbha, and Avalokiteshvara's vows in one of the chapters of the Sadharma Pundarika are all so many developments of this idea of pranidhana, or vows. Parinirmana, or transferring of merit, follows from the conception of pranidhana. In fact, parinidhana, or vowing, mahakaruna, or great love, upaya, kausalya, or skillful means, and adhisthana, or power added and sustaining, are all most intimately related ideas. When any one of them is awakened and set to work out its own consequences, the rest inevitably follow it. The Prajnaparamita Sutras, considered to be one of the earliest Mahayana literature, constantly refer to parinamana and also the avatamsaka, and in the Sukhavati Vyuha it is one of the characteristic terms.